Today, I actually have a interview um, with a fashion company. So I want to make sure my makeup lasts because right now it's it's really cold outside. It's kind of raining. Um, and so that's not a great environment for makeup to thrive, especially for longevity um, and also wearing a mask. For my pores, ooh, for my pores, I'm using the Benefit Professional. Right now I have my period, so I'm getting a lot of hormonal acne breakouts like along my chin. I think this is from a mask, but I'm not that sure. It might be from hormones, but I'm going to try to cover up those little doodads. I'm going to let that primer kind of sit on my face for a bit um, just because I want to make sure it sets and it doesn't pill up because recently I've been having a lot of issues with pilling and I think I know the reasoning behind it. Um, I added this into my skincare routine, the Galactonicin 95 Power Essence. I love the SK2 Essence. It's very expensive and I saw that this was a dupe, but I tested it out and this is what's making my skin pill. I got some new makeup in and this has been all over YouTube, TikTok, everything. And I wanted to give it a go because my issue with foundation for me is that it doesn't look very natural and it also doesn't stay on my face well. And this is supposed to do all of that. It says to put the foundation in the center of my face first. So that is what I'm going to do. It's actually covering up my imperfections pretty well. Okay, another thing that I just got in is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in the shade Madeline. Okay, oh, and this foundation is in uh, L4. This is in Madeline, and I haven't used this concealer in a really long time. I remember it being really cakey on me, but I think that's because I wasn't using it correctly because I was putting this under my eyes and made it really, really cakey looking, but I don't think it belongs under the eyes. Now I'm gonna use the Fenty Cream Bronzer in the shade number three, Macchiato, and I'm just gonna contour this area a bit. So I'm very aware of my TMJ. I've talked about it before. Um, and so I have this like muscular bulge right here from clenching. And so I like to contour that away and not emphasize it. Then I always contour the top of my forehead just because I have a large forehead. It's more like a five head. but. Personally, I like my forehead. It's a big, it's a big forehead, but it's a good forehead. <laughs> Go through a bit of product right here. I'm gonna try to do this makeup look as quickly as I can because when you're getting ready in the morning, you don't want to spend like a whole lot of time on your makeup. So a lot of this is just going to be really detailed oriented skin work. But then after that, you're home free. I also got this Rose Ink Blush Divine Lip and Lip and Cheek Color. And I got it in the shade Azalea. And it does look very, very bright. It's very pretty. I've heard that this is super pigmented, so I'm just gonna be very careful with this. So let's see. Ooh, it's nice. I'm just putting a tad of blush where I ended my contour. So I finished my contour around here. So I'm putting my blush here. And then a bit on the tip of my nose. This is what's gonna make the makeup look very simple. 
and fast. Because look at that. We already have our lips done. And you can do this with lipstick as well. You can literally put the lipstick on your lips and on your cheeks. And you have a monochromatic makeup look. Just throwing some on the lid, just like we threw with the bronzer on the lid. Another new thing that I added to my collection is this Say Air Set Translucent Powder. And this is a radiant loose setting powder. I do not have a radiant loose setting powder. I do have a translucent setting powder, but that is this Chanel one. And if I'm not careful with this, my makeup looks so flipping cakey with it. So it's definitely not my favorite powder in the world, even though it's very expensive. So I'm hoping that this will not be super cakey like the Chanel because I can barely use the Chanel, which sucks. I mean, it was expensive and usually their makeup products are really nice, but that setting powder is not it. So this translucent setting powder, I know it says it's radiant, but there's legit sparkles in here. So, and I don't know how the Laura Mercier setting powder looks. I know they have a radiant setting powder and I have never used it. I literally see glitter particles in the setting powder, but I don't know if that's like a normal thing to see when it comes to a radiant setting powder. It's not making my skin look cakey like the Chanel, which is good. This little pimple is driving me crazy. I'm gonna take the shade Warm Taupe in this palette. There we go. I'm just tossing that in the crease. Like I said before, the eye makeup itself is super easy. It's the skin that's gonna kind of make this makeup look. I'm taking Tempura, which is the lightest shade in the palette right here. And I'm just carving out the crease. Cause for me, I like my crease and I want to really emphasize it with the makeup. I'm taking warm taupe underneath my eyelids right now. Now I'm using the Benefit uh, Roller Liner and this is brown. A very thin wing. I want to keep everything really natural looking. A wing liner is always nice to add, especially when your eye makeup is very simple. I'm going to add some eyeliner here. I like to add a little bit of eyeliner in the inner corner just because I think it adds a little bit of depth to the eyeshadow look. I'm going to add some highlighter to my skin. This is the Laura Mercier Baked Highlighter. Adding some to my brow bone. Again, for this look, the skin is the most important. Now, last step is throwing on some mascara. Now, I'm going to do the final look over, see what I need. I always like to go over my blush again, just because when I'm doing my blush, the tapping and the pressing makes my cheeks flush. So I don't really know what's my blush and what's, you know, my blood flushing in my cheeks. So once I'm kind of done with my makeup, I can see when I can see how much blush I actually put on now that my skin is a little bit calmer. So this is the makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed the get ready with me and I'll see you next time. Bye.